switching between open windows in Windows 7. Like many users, multitasking and having several windows open at once is a way of life. In this video, we will show you ways to make navigation between open windows easy, either using your mouse or keyboard shortcuts, saving you time and allowing you to be more productive. In this example, I have several windows open. I have a couple of Excel files, I have two Word documents, I have a PowerPoint presentation, and I have a folder open. And what I want to do is be able to navigate between these files very efficiently. And there are several ways to do it. Now I'm using what we call Windows Arrow, and Windows Arrow has a couple of extra little key features. If you use Citrix and, and to sign in, to log in to your desktop, let's say, remotely, uh, there'll be a couple of different options as far as the way you're viewing things and how you navigate, and I'll point those out as well. But in this arrow environment, we have a couple of extra little goodies that I can share with you. So if you look down at the bottom on the taskbar down here, you'll see a bunch of icons all along the bottom. Now one of the new features that we have in this Windows 7 that's really exciting is that we can hover over the icon and it will show us a thumbnail of what file we have open. And if we hover over the thumbnail, we get a live preview. It brings the window forward. I want to move over to Word. Notice I have two Word documents open. I'll hover over those just so I can see what they look like. If you are going to have a remote session and remoting into your desktop, you will not get the thumbnails. You'll actually get a, a box. It will have the titles of the files stacked up. And you just would click and bring that one forward. So one of the things that you'll find in Windows 7 is, is we do not have the individual files displayed down here in the taskbar. We have them more in a grouped view. And a grouped view now doesn't take up as much room, but you're going to have to hover over it to see what files you have under that particular application. There's been a keyboard shortcut that's been around for many versions now, XP, Vista, Windows 7, even Windows 8, and that is the Alt-Tab key. So Alt-Tab will show me all of the windows I currently have open. And if I continue to hold the Alt key down and then just tap the Tab key, you'll notice that I'm cycling through all of the windows that I have currently open. And if I let go of the Alt key, that's the window that will be brought forward. If you do have the Windows 7 arrow, and the package that I have right here, there is another way to bring windows forward as well. It's the Windows key. So on your keyboard in the lower left is a little flag key, and it's called the Windows key. And if you hold the Windows key down and use the Tab key, you will get a 3D where you're bringing your windows forward. All you got to do is let go of the Windows key, and that's the window that will be brought forward. So we have the live thumbnails, we have the Alt tab, and we have the Windows key and tab as well. And that is switching between open windows in Windows 7. 